That's amazing. And so think about this. Oh, look at it. Look at it right here. A couch yeah. in an envelope. <laughs> She's carrying a couch. We've got a wild one for you. What if you could put a couch in your pocket using the power of AI? You got to watch the rest of this video to see how it's done. Put a couch in your pocket. What? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So Ikea Research Studio uses AI to create a folding sofa that fits in an envelope. We're heading towards a future where getting sofas up and down flights of stairs is no longer a Sisyphean chore. So I, know, word. I might need to find out what that means. Sisyphean. That's a word of the day, man. I don't know. We might be censored by that word. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Create a folding sofa. Let's take a look at this. Look at this thing right here. What is that? Um, Space 10, an independent design studio supported by and creates designs for IKEA, has used machine learning to build a flat pack sofa weighing only 22 pounds that fits inside an envelope. Wow. Wow. And well, can... and this is just one. This is this is a, a bunch of them on, on a pallet. So this is one right here. Look, that's how thin that thing is. That yeah. is crazy. But the point being is that AI created this. So just, just you know, extrapolate that out. There's so much potential in terms of money making when we think about um, like 3D printing. And this right. is another, you, now you start to combine that with AI. Well, you, you know, you could be start 3, 3D printing your couch, Dave. Hey, you know, wouldn't it be right. nice if you had a couch back there in the corner? Well, here, here real quick, let me just print one out for us. That's amazing. And so think about this. Oh, look at it. Look at it right here. Yeah. Couch in an envelope. <laughs> She's carrying a couch. Now that I said put it in your crazy. pocket. You need a big pocket for this. But <laughs> still, right? Look at that. Yep. See, the whole go their whole goal is to have let so you could say the environmental aspect of it, less weight, um, lighter small packaging mm -hmm. and this may or may not be for everybody to get this kind of thing but the point is is there's going to be a subset of the population that are minimalistic or they like kind of the future stuff mm -hmm. that are going to buy this so to me the real value is not just this specific couch but the point being is that when you start taking 3d printing with ai you could create this and and, and create products it's not just what do you think about when when people are making things with with um, three three D printing right now? They're making little figurines and stuff like that. Right. Although although they're three D printing houses right now, those are pretty big printers. But the point being is that if you have something like this, you, I normally wouldn't think of a three D printer with a couch, but you maybe have ten little sections that it makes, and then IKEA plug them together, boom, you've got a couch. And yeah. for some people, they're going to buy that. So there's going to be opportunity, not just from a big company perspective. But that, that is a big thing right now. People don't realize how much money is being made for people just buying things that are 3D printed. For yeah. example, if, if you're trying to, you, you need a little component to fix something in, in your PlayStation or even cars in, in things like that, people will sell these 3D printed replacements because maybe that car is no longer in production is hard to get parts. That's a whole world that, hmm. that's out there right now. And it's just really interesting that, they used AI to come up with the concept. It wasn't necessarily that it was such a smart engineer. They have the most powerful engineer out there with an AI creating this thing. Man, I, I'm just thinking about the, the possibilities for, this is really about product design. How do you design a product? And I kind of came from that world. I used to be a draftsman in, in the engineering department, things like that. So to me, this is very revolutionary. Like, this is just one example, right? How to create a couch that fits in an envelope that's only 22 pounds and, and it actually is functional and works well, right? Like you're saying, James, combine AI, the ideas from AI with the ability to create anything with 3D printing. And then like if you actually produce a manufacturing facility, you have robots and robotics actually doing the manufacturing so you're you're saving money, saving expense in all different areas, design, manufacturing, and uh, and production labor, right? And so just imagine the companies of the future that are going to be able to be created because of these three different things combining together to create something amazing. I think it's worth someone's time just to go right now onto something like Etsy and do a search for 3D printed material. And start looking at that and you start to see like, oh my gosh, I can't believe somebody sold a thousand of this thing for 20 bucks. 
and it costs them you know 50 cents for the plastic yep and then you start to combine that with ai and you start all these tools are going to come out with ai and say how could i make a better version of that ai and then boom they give you a better design first of all there's very few people that are even trying to sell anything with 3d printers and the cost of those are very low right now exponentially the amount that are now using ai to get better versions of that is basically no one so if you could see something selling on etsy for 3d printing use the power of ai to make something better you can you can dominate the market because you're just quicker you're quicker than everybody else to get a better design but it wasn't that you were so smart it was the ai which is great that's amazing well this is just a whole like to me it's out of left field uh, i've never thought about something like this so it gets starts kind of boggling your mind uh, about the possibilities for me right now this looks like a big picture idea um, it's not one of those things like we normally talk about, but it's very cool just to kind of see what's happening right now and what's coming down the road in the future. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. We also have a free AI newsletter. We'd love for you to subscribe to that. And uh, we'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.